Ross house. Um, we're eating breakfast. Lele is attacking me. Um, we're just chilling at Mama's. Oh, mommy. Have to show everybody your cookies. No, I don't think I did. Somebody out there would be like, oh, who's that sexy lady? Show me them cookies. She's eating a... Uh, it's getting long. looking at what I got. I don't be looking at you. Yeah, it's in there. That one. I got my camera, but... I had to break it up because she was about to throw it on the couch. I'm like... What you trying to do? Yeah, we're doing Yeah, it's rough, rough, rough. I probably got an easy to go pay the school, take a lap of the day, help us be able to our system. And I'm a good sick Lord, bless the people that made it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. about her is that she was really shy along around amongst people she didn't like them touching her talking to her because for the first year she was born we did not take her out because of COVID now fast forward a couple of years later she's about to be two and she is very more friendly and more social however she still sitting there trying to be flirting with the lady and your wife is right there, you fucking dickhead. Yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, so, she has anxiety when I leave her. Like, the minute I leave her, she starts screaming and carrying on and acting wackadoodle. And she treats me like shit when I'm around her. She cries and beats me up and acts mean to me like she, you know, she's always screaming for her father. But then when I leave, she has a meltdown. I just thought that at this point in her life that she would be grown out of it, but she still is throwing tantrums, so, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know, but I'm tired of her screaming and crying, so, out of all three of my children, she's the worst, Joel, oh my god, she's the worst out of all three. She just has meltdown. She screams. It's just awful. My other two were fine. You can give them a box. They would play with it. You give them them toys. They would play with it. Ezra wasn't so much like that. Ezra was a little bit different. The thing with Ezra was that um, the thing with Ezra was is that he didn't like 
to play on his own. He liked to play with other children. He just didn't want to play on his own. So he would bring his toys and come play in the room and make racket. Or he would want to watch movies with me that were inappropriate. So that was just Ezra. You know, because Ezra was my first and I was a single mom at that time. So Ezra just wanted his mommy to himself. Then when I had Enoch, I lived with my mother-in-law. So Enoch would run around and nag his mother or his sister or his brother or his father or his grandpa because everybody lived in there we lived in there like a bunch of mexicans not that that's a problem i love mexicans i used to date one well he was half mexican and half colombian but anyway um yeah everybody was in that house so yeah so uh yeah they both were fine. They didn't scream and carry on. I mean, they had their tantrums, but this one is on 10 the minute she wakes up and the minute she goes to bed. The kid is screaming her freaking head off. Yeah. Anyway, it's hot as Satan's ball sacks out here. And I need to let the phone down because I just gotta... When it gets hot like this, I can't function. My brain can't think. Like, my brain cells are frying. They're like sauteing in a pan. Anyway, let me let y'all go. To be continued. Bye! Anyway, welcome to Morning Shenanigans. With Audacious Amber, which is me and my son. Um, yeah, so, the same old, same old. Today, our agenda is, I gotta go get to my mother, probably do some earrings with her, and come back. I'm making empanadas tonight, and my kids go ape shit over my empanadas. No, I'm, I'm the only make... one that I do. No, Ezra loves my empanadas. Your father loves, your father loves my empanadas so much that he went to buy me oil to make them today. Because I didn't have any I oil. I love them more. Yeah, you do, you do. You do like my empanadas more. Hello. Yeah, so my children love my empanadas. Um, I make them pretty good, considering the fact that I was not raised in a Spanish household. So, my husband loves my empanadas, and my children do too. Um, but I'm going to do a little twist. Today I'm going to put some chorizo in it, and um, some ground beef, and my typical seasonings, not too much seasoning because we use chorizo, it, it has a lot of flavor to it. So you can't go OD with the seasonings. But yeah, I'm going to put that in there. Stop. I, what might be doing it, y'all? Because I don't know. I can't see. You got you to be very precise with the. So our neighbors. Not might our be neighbors. Our, our, um, friends. I don't know. It. Lay, what's the problem? <gasps> what? What's the problem, Lay? What's the problem? Ow, Enoch. Anyway, I was watching the trailer for Thor. That looks awesome. I really want to watch that. And The Rock. And The Rock. And y'all know I like looking at Thor Samoa, man. Just saying. She has kids. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Just because I have kids means they can't, I can't look at Samoan men. No. Your father be looking at chicks. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He doesn't. We just know, like Daddy knows that I have a crush on The Rock and um, Roman Reigns and Troy Palomalo. Who's that? You see a pattern here? Samoan men. Anyway. And the Usos. I don't like the Usos. I told you they don't do nothing for me. Do. No, they don't. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna let you go because this chick is gonna start screaming. Enoch's getting on my nerves. I'm not what I do. And I'm nosy. I have to be nosy right now. So, to be continued. Always does. 
nags the shit out of me. Oh, your girl is feeling this wig. Okay, I look like a mermaid. It's giving Ivy mm -hmm, from DC. Welcome to morning shenanigans. Welcome to morning shenanigans. So, this new wig, I don't know the name. I don't know the name. But I'm doing red or auburn this summer. That's what we're doing this summer. I'm doing reds because I'm tired of black. I did I did blonde all last summer and then um I did a short bob that was red but this 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 summer I'm doing long reds because my husband likes it. So what Boo wants, Boo gets. Yeah. But anyway, um, I got a phone call from the school saying that there was threats um, to harm the kids. And um, they said that they the police looked into it and it was false. But um, from where I come from, you know, people say it's false when they're scared. But when all the lights are off of them, they show up. So I'm really hoping that nothing happens to the kids today um i look like a zombie but i pray over my kids and i believe in the lord i believe in protection i pray over them every time they step outside i honestly do every single morning i pray over my children so it's in the lord's hands and i'm not going to make myself sick all day about it i come out water bottle you don't need it right now. I do. I'm not driving back to the house to get it. So sit your rump down. Take a chill pill. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. I Enoch. I'm going to knock you into next week. Like you're going to go flying into next week. Keep playing me. I just want my water bottle. That's not my problem. You should have had it. My dude, if you wanted your water bottle, you should have put it in your book bag and had it ready. But no, you want to be, you know, dally gaggling around the house doing God hey, what knows you what. Doing, that? doing God knows what. And then you expect me to be on uh, Nobby. That's all you. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Shenanigans. Everybody. What's this thing? It's just telling me stuff. Leave it. My new water. Stop. Oh, he wants to show you his new water bottle. <laughs> I can do that. Anyway. So, this morning... Uh, what is today? Tuesday? No, wait. Wednesday? No, today's Tuesday. Wait, check it home. Guys, I don't even know what day it is. Same thing. You gotta write it all day. Like, why don't you know? Yes, yeah, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. So, today's Tuesday, and already I'm like... Stressed out? Yeah. Tell everybody how evil I was yesterday. Yo, she was evil yesterday. She had a knife on me. <laughs> I didn't put a knife on you. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. So, because what happened was I was, was cooking. I was cooking. I was cooking dinner and they were pissing me off. And Enoch has this habit where he wants to have a meltdown and cry and do all this stupid <laughs> shit. Shit. Same thing as the baby. <laughs> what do you want? Did I put snacks in here for you? Did you put your tablet in here? No, Yaya has a tablet. That's why I gotta drive out there. <laughs> There's nothing in here for you. What do you want? It's just diapers and wipes. There's nothing in there for you. <laughs> here, take this and shut up. <laughs> anyway, so. I was in the middle of cooking um, spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti and spaghetti and sauce. So I was chopping up the onions. No, that was good. 
I was chopping up the onions and um, what else was I chopping up? The peppers and, and the onion thing. I was like, I went to go tell him. I was like, look, let's get this clear because you had that little smart remark. You're not going to be sleeping downstairs. You're sleeping upstairs in your room. He was like, dude. And I, I had the knife in my hand. So I was like, say say one more word. I dare you. Say one more word. You know what I mean? Not that I was going to hurt him. But it was just like, say one more word and you're punished for the rest of the week. Like, you're not going outside. You'll stay in your room. You're not allowed to watch TV. Like, nothing. Like, say one more word. So he was like... Then his brother comes downstairs and he was like, yo, stop crying, yo. But his brother was like, yo, we got to start helping out more. Because his brother realizes it. It's like I'm getting... The problem with me is like everybody knows on my channel I bitch and complain about my back. Y'all are probably so tired of it. And I get it. But unfortunately for me, that is my life. I wake up with pain. I go to sleep with pain. I'm in pain during the day. So when I'm constantly in pain... It hurts to bend over to pick up basketballs and balls and shoes and, and soda cans. So it's just like you've got to hold your weight. You know what I mean? Like you got to hold your weight, which is a saying that I don't know where I got that from. But it's just hold your weight. You know what I mean? Like do your own shit. You know what I mean? Clean up after yourself. I'm getting tired of it. They want to just do whatever they want to do when they get home from school and just go running around. Why they leave all the mess for me and George to clean up. And that's stopping. Mm -mm. Sister Sue ain't having it this year. Mm -mm. I wish they would come home today and not and, and throw everything on the floor. No. Because it ain't going to be a knife, but <laughs> it will be them hands. Rated E for everybody. Call ACS if you want. Somebody's getting knocked the out. Test me. Test me. Huh. So anyway. Mama. Mama. <laughs> what baby? You too. You're gonna get a two bull. What the baby do? Be, I being two don't I don't discriminate. You can you can get it too. What you can get them body shots. What the baby do? She be screaming all day. Yeah, so today is not a makeup day as you can see because like I said, I am struggling. <laughs> so yesterday, what? You have to hold it. <laughs> so yesterday night, I had a, last night, I had a really hard time. Sleeping. Sleeping because my back was killing me. It is killing me. <laughs> like I had to call my pain management doctor and be like, hey y'all. You got to conjure up something stronger because this shit Yay. ain't working, bro. And I am beat. Just get your arm out of there. What did you do? Now stop it, Ilea. Anyway, forget morning shenanigans because she's acting up. Be mad at yourself. It ain't my fault. I want my water I want a million dollars. Do no, I got it? I just want my water bottle. Y'all, if I could put the camera on him to show him having a tantrum. Good thing I didn't cuss because the camera's on me. I think you're here. All right, bye, pissant. Oh my gosh, go cry over there on the bus. Lord have mercy, I can't with you. Come on, under there. Can I drop my water bottle on my school? Love you, Mr. Attitude. He is pissed at me, Lord. <laughs> Ooh wee! It is hot.
hotter than Satan's balls in here. Spider, the spider, get out of here, get out of here. Okay. All right, so today is a beautiful day. Um, I don't know why, because they're telling us that we're going to get some, like, nasty rain. Y'all hear my braids? And let's hear my daughter screaming, too. Ooh. Hold on, camera. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. So, I am so proud of myself because today was monumental for me. Like I told you in my previous post, or blog upload, that I wanted to work out and start like drinking. Oof, what is wrong with this camera? I gotta get like the dashboard camera holder. I don't even know if that exists. And the sunlight and everything right now is like... What is going on? What is going on? It's giving me dirty. It's giving me blurry. What is going on? I gotta fix you. Anyway, so long story short, I um nobody's at the bus stop, so now I feel like I'm like too early or too late. All right, let me clean you guys. Hold on. Okay. Better. It's so much clearer now. Okay. Um. Let me turn this off. So. Yeah. So. I wanted to make like. Progress. And change the things that I'm unhappy about with myself. And one of them is my back. As you know, I'm always complaining about my back. My back is a severe issue in my life that prohibits me from doing 90% of the things that I have to do as a human being. You know what I mean? Cleaning, showering, having sex even, cooking, dealing with my kids. It's a constant issue. And I don't know... For all the people out there that have back pain, they get it. They understand. They get it. The people that don't are like, stop bitching. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's an issue. And it dominates every aspect of our life. And it's hard to cut through the pain on certain days. Um, I'm just praying to God that he definitely makes this surgery that I'm going to have on the 20th later this month successful because I'm so effing exhausted with being in pain. I want to be normal, you know. I want to be able to go walking. I want to be able to walk out, work out. I want to be able to take my daughter to the, the, the park and all of these things you know I want to ride it like a rodeo you know <laughs> TMI right but anyway you get it but um today I took my daughter for a walk and it wasn't like a measly five minute walk it was a good like 20 minute walk and she enjoyed it I put a little sun hat on her and we went. I didn't put any sunscreen on her, so I felt bad about that. But, you know, we went. It was like the spur of the moment thing. I, I didn't want to do it, but I was like, I got to get up. Because sometimes sitting on my behind too long hurts more than standing. So I was like, I got to go for a walk. So I went for a walk. We came back. And I tidied up the living room and the, the dining room. And then I was like, let me get it in. So I put on a video, 15 minute workout video, and I did it y'all. My daughter was screaming, cause I know I told y'all I can't do anything with this little girl and that's a fact, but I just ignored her. I let her throw herself on the floor and scream and whine and have a tantrum. 
but I did my 15 minute um wa uh, workout. It's called Walk Walk at Home, but it's originally a spin-off of this girl that did this video called Walk um What was it called? Walk away Walk away the pounds, Walk away the pounds, something like that. My mother ordered it and it was just, you know, in your living room just walking in one position and doing side steps and doing that and I remember when I was doing that years ago I started toning up a little bit more I wasn't losing drastic weight but I was toning and um that's what I'm doing I, I need to balance out the calories and you know that I'm consuming and working it off so not only that is really good for me because I can stretch and move my body and do all of that stuff so but yeah, y'all. Let me move back because I don't want this guy talking to me. I am Mrs. Antisocial. Waiting for pairing. Paired. Yeah, I don't want him talking to me. Bye. I'm not a racist person, but there's sometimes when you're like talking to people and they give you that vibe like you're black, you're not part of the clique. So, I don't really fuck with them no more. Not to mention the girl over there. Her son, when we first moved out here, was playing with my son. And he got too excited or whatever. And, like, tried to push my son in front of, you know, push my son. And um, he pushed my son in the direction of the road. And a car was turning. And he almost got hit. And ever since then, I'm like, nah, you can't play with that little boy. Leave that, leave that little boy the fuck alone. Because I, I don't like that whatsoever. So, that was that. And I hope I'm not being heard because I'm like mad loud. But they just give me that vibe so I don't mess with them. And, um, I need to go, what time is it? Am I, like, way too early? I guess she's gonna go pick him up. I don't know. Anyway, so I've been dealing with that, just trying to get myself back in track. I put on my workout clothes, I worked out, I took my daughter for a walk. I have to start working on, um making her go potty so we got to work on the potty we got to work on her colors and shapes and then i will feel like a successful mom with this one <laughs> uh i bring her to the bathroom with me um but she understands that you sit on the toilet and you go poop or you go pee and you got to wipe yourself but for her to do it herself, she doesn't like it. She just crawls in the corner and poops. She'll, she'll pee whenever she feels like peeing. But when she's pooping, she crawls in the, the corner and hides. Which I think is something that all kids do. All three of my kids did that. It's a thing they do. Like, they hide when they poop. When they defecate themselves. So. But. Anyway. On that note, I think I will be done vlogging today i did try to record me walking with elia the sun was so bright that i couldn't get really any foot like the screen so i don't know and i didn't bring my camera because i don't have anything to attach the camera like the camera to the stroller and walk at the same time so i didn't do that but five four three two one what happens when it hits one Welcome to morning shenanigans. We are extremely tired today. Well, I am anyway. Um, my husband was attacking me, so. How? You don't need to know how. That's what I'm tired. Um, 
I made an omelet this morning and it's all right, but I have no cheese in my house. And I was gonna make empanadas from scratch, but if I make empanadas, I'm only making them for me. No. <laughs> there's no cheese, puppy. I want empanadas. But there's no cheese. I don't care about the cheese. I just want empanadas. All right. But, no, but there's spaghetti in there. No. There's spaghetti. No. no. Spaghetti. I want empanadas. <laughs> Elea Louise, Ella Cerezo, shut up. <laughs> Out of all three of you, she's the worst. <laughs> What's your problem? Mira. Lele, what's your malfunction? What's your malfunction? Can you learn how to talk? <laughs> Say want, no, yes. Siéntate ahora. Why is not going down? Huh? This is not going down. Huh? Oh, it's got the baby poof on it or baby lock. What is it? Dude. I'm not doing jack squat today. I'm going to be a bum today. And it's what? okay. Stop doing that. What? Just a baby poof thing. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, the car's off. That's why, Knuckles. Uh, <laughs> yep. Don't ask mommy to do nada. Because I'm not doing nothing. Nothing. You want to eat? Eat spaghetti. I do have to do laundry, though. Or it's going to turn into a monster. There's a portal in hell that has laundry there. No, not. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not. I need a vacation. Ma. That's who called it. A nigga from Newburgh? Ma. Ma. Yeah. yeah. I want to go on vacay. No, I'm coming. We're going to Ukraine. I want to go to Montenegro Bay. No, we're going to Ukraine. Puerto Rico. No, we're going to Ukraine. You can't go to Ukraine. You're going to get bombed. <laughs> um, shit, even Ireland. Um, Fish and chips. I want to go to Portuguese. <laughs> Port There's no such thing as going to Portuguese. You mean you want to go to Brazil? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want to go to Puerto Rico. I definitely want to go to Puerto Rico. Like, oh, like I always say since I was a baby. <laughs> Daddy wants us to go see... Um, his titi and his tío out in Puerto Rico. Like, stop crying. I, I just, I don't want to go anywhere where there's tourists. That's the thing. I can't stand tourists. I just want to relax. I want to go to Italy. Oh, that would be nice. Italy's nice. Oh, I heard the food is good. Don't give her that to break it.